She's on the brink of losing her home. All she needed was a loan modification to lower her payments, but the people she turned to just took her money. As two investigator Pam Zekman reports, she was the victim of a growing scam. Daily life is a struggle for Bobby Thomas Reed. I am not physically able to move. I can't do anything for myself. She requires kidney dialysis, oxygen, and has trouble walking. When her children moved away from home, she needed help paying her mortgage. I figured that if I could lower my mortgage, it would make it easier for me. That's when a letter promising help seemed like an answer to all her problems. So you get this in the mail. Yes. Saying that you could be eligible for reduced mortgage payments of $573. Yes. Excited? Of course. The company is called Direct Processing USA. In order to get the modification, they would need $2,800. Reed paid half of that, but they never modified her loan. Chase Bank, which serviced her loan, told Reed she was being scammed. But by then, she was several months behind on her mortgage payments. You may lose your house. And this is my everything. I'm, I'm getting stressed even talking to you. I'm beginning to get a headache because it's all I have. Direct Processing USA has an F rating with the Better Business Bureau. The owners, who have also operated under the name National Servicing Center, have been issued cease and desist orders from both Oregon and Washington for defrauding mortgage customers. The scammers find their targets by trolling public real estate websites to see who's behind on their mortgage or facing foreclosure. They know when people are in trouble. They know when they can't afford it. They know when they're behind in their mortgage sometimes. Berna says mortgage modification fraud is a perennial problem for customers who contact the Better Business Bureau. They ask you for upfront money for loan modification. That's what we would call the tip off to the rip off. Reed says she would love to confront the scammers. What would you say? I think I would lose my religion. I would think I would to tell him a thing or two because he has, he has really destroyed my life. The telephone numbers listed for Direct Processing USA have been disconnected. After we contacted Chase Bank, they reached out to Thomas and are reviewing her request for a loan modification. The Illinois Attorney General's Office is also looking into this as a possible case of fraud. Live in the newsroom, Pam Zekman, CBS2 Investigators. Robin Erica. Wow, you got a feel for this woman already facing so many challenges and now this. Thank you, Pam.